and then five or six goes to the Warriors. All right, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what's the prediction happens. That's, that's what I'm predicting. I might be wrong the way the Warriors are playing. So, I mean, but the question is, is Golden State going to let up against Cleveland? See? I'm hard pressed to believe it. That, that, that's, that, I mean, and the other question is, we always talk about LeBron versus, we always talk about LeBron versus, uh, versus, versus, uh, uh Michael Jordan? Jordan. Right. Let's say LeBron versus Kevin Durant. LeBron versus Durant? So far, Durant has, has, has had his little, he's he <laughs> looking at that. He's had his hand in there. Exactly. Last game defensively, Kevin Durant it had five ugly. blocks and three steals. He was ugly. Defensively, you see that first game? The first game, Durant is coming down to the team. And LeBron looked like he's you know why that's happening? Away. You know why it's happening? Because they are respecting uh, the, the outside perimeter game. Look who showed up. They're respecting that in that fashion. So you're going to see Kevin in game one. That's why you, you, you see the corner of the Red Sea in game one because Kevin Durant was hitting that hole like no one. But just like in the bar, he stayed scared. But you had Steph Curry on the three point bar, so you, you respect that. You respect the third point that Durant hit the pick the way he did in game one. I'm saying he's scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the lost stranger. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got an old pal. Oh, he's been riding the bench. Shut the bitch. Call him the bench. You trying to take my place. <laughs> <laughs> Kaepernick's been blackballed. Okay, what pressure are you talking about? Kaepernick. What pressure are you referring to? Let me tell you, you put Kaepernick behind somebody, you put Kaepernick behind a great line. And he said, "Be who he is." That nigga's not a bad quarterback. No, every quarterback on the other side, 
catch so next time. So you're saying we don't want to put press behind. I mean, but how come Kaepernick don't have wings right now? It could. I mean, could, couldn't he go hang out with Brock Osweiler in Cleveland? Yep. Yeah. 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 So then two days later, they get Austin Davis. Or, or could it be that they didn't want to pay Kaepernick when he wanted? No, no, no. Kaepernick money, whatever it is. So, so Kaepernick would have took one year, $800,000. you are going to drop down from <laughs> Okay, would you take a hot one right now? You're probably <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't take it now. So you wouldn't take it now. So why do you think he would take it? Yeah, that, that's pretty Or is it? But he, or he might be waiting to, to the end of the year. But now they changed the way P.C. goes. I mean, they, they changed the way the cut right now. Now, instead, yeah, now instead of, instead of, instead of, you know, we're not searching, we just got to come down to the show. Now they're saying, you can make a last seat and you can find all your time. You don't have to wait. You don't have to cut down your rock. Oh, that's not right. Yeah, yeah, that's not right. No, I don't know. That's not going to give me a lot of money. No, no, it's, but, it, it, but it's an option, though. It's, a, it's an option. You can cut him right now. You can cut a player right now, or you can take that option and say, well, I want to see if the player, this, he's got something, so I'm not pressured to cut this player. It does. It does. It does. I mean, but, but, but so, or, or as a player, you can go to your, your coach and say, hey, you know, um, can y'all just don't cut me now? Because I don't think it's fitting for me right now. If they don't cut him, you wait to the and you wait to the end. You go, well, but it's, it's, it's a it's, it's a win. It's a not a win win situation right there. No, it's it's, it's not, 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 it's, it's, it's not it's, 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 right. Right, right, right. To day four and then cut you. But now, but but now here's the deal though. If I'm a coach or something like that, I'm still going to be looking out for these other players. I'm waiting for that white, because they wait for that waiver wire to come out all the time. They sit there and wait. And if, if there's a player that, that, that gets cut, and that coach has been looking at that player, I'm going to pick him up. I'm going to pick him up. It, it, it is. It is. Right. They had the, 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 Exactly. To go out and get another team. Right, right, right. Right, right. Uh-huh. It's a, I mean, but now, if, if, a, if I'm a coach and I know he's not going to fit, I'm going to cut him. You, you ain't got to wait. It depends on the team. <laughs> depends on the team. Now, if you, now if, you in, if you in Belichick... Wow. Oh, they can fix them up. Thank you. Yeah, he's a big old boy right now. <laughs> get them steak and some potatoes. <laughs> no, 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 this ain't, no, no, they just want to eat. These ain't no, 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 no uh, chips and cookies. <laughs> you need to put some steak down there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this ain't no, no, this is real food right here. You know, I saw the little penny food they give. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah so. All right. Yeah, yeah, when, when you come back. Next year sometime? Okay. Well, make sure you come back, though. Yeah, yeah, all right, appreciate it. That was uh, Dante. Dante with you, Dante. coming gracious presence with us today on the show. I'm loving and happy day. Uh, again, we talked about uh, 
And then we're talking about how the Kaepernick thing. We want to get into that. The whole Kaepernick thing. Okay, so, so go ahead and finish this thing about that. And see, I think, I think one thing, it's a, it's a two-fold thing. I think that, uh, uh, that number one, he's not the, 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 the salary cap, the, he, his number, they're not going to match his number, that's number one. And number two is, I don't, I don't know if he's that great of a quarterback, because he started, he, he started the time. Kaepernick? Yeah, Kaepernick started the time. You know, and then number three, number three, he should have stood up. So, he's got three things going against him. What's your comment on what you can also say? Because that's banter and half protect. That's just something to say. So you won't make Kaepernick feel bad. I mean, why would you not want to have one of the other side off the day? Exactly. Why would you not want the top one of the top talent just in case something happens? If Kaepernick wanted to be on the team, and then he gets told, you're not going to sign the line. Oh, so we're going we gonna to let you go to somebody else. So you come again, come play against us. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm let you go and you can go play for somebody else and then and then you might come back and, and, and play against us. And you might come back and win. Why would you do that? I don't know, I don't know. Alright, coming to the set, we got uh oh no oh, 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 oh. that's too that's too much over here. Been out of the NFL. What is, what, matter of fact, tell us your position in the NFL. Uh, I was a defensive back uh, with St. Louis Cardinals and the Green Bay Packers. Okay. Uh, I was drafted in 1973. Oh, okay. Young guy. Yeah. Okay. Jack and Seth, who did you draft by? I was drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals. Oh, that was my yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, get me out of here, huh? <laughs> well, at the time, and then when they see your home, don't feel good. Yeah, okay, okay. It didn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, well. But, but we learned to have thick skin and you get past that shit. Yeah, uh-huh. But here is the funny story, though. They cut me and literally told me to find another career. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, wow. Now, okay. I'm, 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 Right, right, right. Play a week on several different weeks. Mm-hmm. But I got to find another career. So, I, I took that to heart. Right, right. You know, my baby. <laughs> we're we're all back out there. We're all here. So, so, after that, do you look back and say, that's why y'all sorry right now? <laughs> Here's the deal. It's very difficult to tell me what I can do when you have not allowed me to, to do it. it. Right, right. When, you, when you're sitting back watching everybody else and they telling me I can't do it. So, Opportunity. I need it. To have that opportunity to see that I can't play. Right. So I knew what they were doing. It's hindsight, but I knew what they were doing. Mm-hmm. Now, play with St. Louis, we won the division, which we came up with and beat up y'all cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then I ended up with Green Bay. And oh. I was talking to Bart Starr. Uh-huh. And I asked Bart, I said, Bart, how did y'all find out about me? 
He said, well, the coach in Cincinnati told us about you. Oh, so you could do it. They just didn't want you to do it. Well, I started laughing. <laughs> and he said, why are you laughing? Well, uh, well, they told me to find another career. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so you played with, with Rams. Was that on uh, um, uh, the, uh, the, the Deacon Jones and no, no, Merlin Ocean? I, 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 uh, he was okay. He's first, okay, okay. I'm old, man. But but this is the, so you came out in '73. No, no, I was drafted. You drafted in '73. Okay. Uh, and and uh, St. Louis, we talking about JB Kane, uh, Mel, uh, uh, Mel Withrow, uh, no, uh, Mel Gray. Mel Gray, Mel Gray. Okay. Jim Hart, the oh, Dan, okay. Dan, 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 Dan did off. Yeah, Those yeah. Are, Otis Anderson. Yeah. Oh, this came right behind our left. Did he? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, and then you went to Green Bay. Was Forrest Greg the coach? Well, to be honest about it, I got hurt. Okay. Yeah, I was with enough to where they put me in reserve. Right, right. They knew it's the Okay. In order to come back, they got to release you. Right. They got to put you on waiver. Okay. Well, I don't know if... You know the history of the St. Louis Cardinals in the Chicago. Chicago Cardinals, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I know a deal was cut with Chicago Bears, and when they put me on waiver, they jacked me off of that. Chicago did. Chicago. They pulled you off waivers because it's 24 hours, isn't it? So I played two weeks in Chicago <laughs> and ended back up in St. Louis. Okay. Wow. Uh, they wanted me back. Mm -hmm. But see, what that did is it allowed me to negotiate a new contract. No, so. No, it was about money for yeah, you. right, right, yeah, right, right. Now, so I done done my thing. Now I'm gonna try, try to make some money. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. And then, and then, and then you went to Green Bay. Then you know, I went to Green Bay. Okay. Like I said, was Forrest Greg coaching that? No, it was Boss Star, my coach. Oh, okay. Bart so Star Green Bay. Was the, was the head coach. Yeah. Okay. He talked terrible coach. Big quarterback. I'm not well, saying he's on now. Well, no, 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 no. I know the record. <laughs> It was, it was tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, don't, I, I don't mean being cold. Yeah, huh? The cold wasn't the issue for me coming from Amarillo, Texas. You know? Oh, yeah, you used to that cold. Yeah. They got cold now, Amarillo. You, you just don't get used to losing. No, you don't. You don't. You just don't get used to losing. And I'm coming to the St. Louis when we don't want to division. Yeah, yeah. Beat the Cowboys in the division. Yeah, yeah. That was, that was a... It wasn't a, 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 a mid-cap. Terry Metcalf yeah. from St. Louis, yes. Yeah, uh huh. Was he on that same team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a really good time. Mm -hmm. uh, Cincinnati as a rookie was different for me because they were the warm and fuzzy. <laughs> St. Louis was open arms. Right. People understood that they don't make the decision. Uh -huh. And it wasn't cold. And the, but the other part of it is when you have players that open up to you, mm -hmm. Heard about their job and not communicating with their fellow teammates. Right, right, right. So when did you know? Was there a time you said, "You know what? I'm through." When did you? When did you in your mind say, "You know what? I'm through"? Well, when you've been to five different teams in three years, yeah, that's. I didn't like that. Uh huh. No stability. I could have stayed and played, mm -hmm. but I got mad, and that's youthful thinking. Not looking at the bigger picture, say, hey, I can probably stay a little bit longer. And get, you know, get a little bit more, little more ch yeah. cheddar. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I said, man, I got my master's degree. The hell with this. I'm gone. And, and so I, when you left, did you know what you was going to do oh, after you left? The, I, I had a master plan going into college. Uh -huh. What I was going to do as a pro ball player, education. Mm -hmm. But I thought my pro ball player was going to be a rock and then <laughs> Right, right, right. So, right, right. I, I worked in corporate America for a while, but I did went straight into because corporate America wasn't hiring because I didn't leave the game being injured. They figured that I was going to go back. Oh, they, oh okay. So they, they don't want to put a lot of time in you. So I talked two years. Uh huh. Then I got hired by Ethna Life and Casualty as a loss control engineer. Okay. And uh, then I worked uh, four years with uh, Freedom Lay as a CAD engineer. Oh, okay, okay. okay. What, what, what brought you to the education system? You just, that was a passion? Oh, okay, so you still working at plant? Yeah. Okay. 
So now you just came back from where? Uh, Sydney, Australia. From Sydney, Australia. Yeah. How was that? You know, I've been a lot of places, but what was interesting to me, we spent seven days over there, and I can count on both hands the people I saw that looked like me. <laughs> and not a lot. <laughs> So you're like, okay. But the city was warm, mm -hmm. uh, very clean, and we were in a different place. And, um, we enjoyed it. We weren't uncomfortable. They didn't make us uncomfortable. Okay. But, you know, you like to see people that look like you. Right, right, right. You got a little, little skin tone. got a twin. <laughs> Get some good skin, skin tone around it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd like, we, uh, where else can we, uh, where's the next time we can see you? I know you can come over anytime you want. If there's a celebrity golf going on, you're going to see you Oh, yeah, yeah. You're going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we, we, you see us both, huh? Yeah, you know, like I said, you know, I, I let Larry be there. That's why I'm here. So you think you can play? Huh? So you think you can play? Oh, so I think I can play? Yeah. No, I can It plays. <laughs> Are you stubborn? Because <laughs> I can walk, the, I can walk the course real good. Yes, of course you start stubborn. I, 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 I can walk the course real good. Okay. He, he, he told off of yeah. So you say, wait, wait. I, I, I am not shy about taking pictures on the course. That's a beautiful course. Okay. You know, I keep my retriever okay. with me. Okay. You know, and I, and I'll have the water. See the thing, the one thing about defensive backs. They read verbal language, nonverbal language, very well. Mine was nonverbal. Be ready. Mine was nonverbal. Non <laughs> 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 it's like, it's like, I'm like you're on that island. Just okay, my God. <laughs> okay, just don't hit me off the. <laughs> don't play bump and run. <laughs> play zone with me, okay? He got you. There was yeah, no poker face. Play zone with me, okay? Give me some little cushion, okay? Give me some room, on, you know. At least let me do that curl route. See, back in the day. Used to knock it down and lay on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, It'd be tough for me. What, what do you think? How many fouls would you? How many times would you get flagged today if you was playing in this day and age? Man, my first tackle would have been a flag. Was, was a flag. <laughs> Look, would be my first tackle was a tackle. flag. Oh, it was, it was a, flag. a flag. As a rookie, man, we playing. Who are we playing? Minnesota. Uh huh. Exhibition game. Uh huh. Man, I wanted to hit somebody so bad he went out of bounds. I kept going, <laughs> <laughs> and I got flagged. So your so your first tackle, you'd have been fined already. Yep, you'd, you'd immediately been fined. Yep. And that little check you signed? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. They didn't. That's exhibition game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you gonna knock? You could knock somebody out there, huh? See, they wouldn't hit me like that back in the day. Right, 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 uh, right. See, see, now you're making so much, they hit you in the park. See, we wasn't making oh, yeah, so yeah, they, nah, let me, let, let's take his games away from him, something like yeah, that. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. We wasn't making no take money. Take plays off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it probably would have been nah, you, an uproar to take the, I, the I, time. I think every player in the NFL back then would be fined every time right now. Every lick, every hit. I mean, what, what they used to say back then, we don't hit you. Yeah, that's what you're not down Old until you until football. you don't move, right? <laughs> That's that solid Yeah, hit yeah, yeah. That's that. You're not Real down until football. you don't move. Well, you know what? The, and to be all honest, in the day's game, it's a safer game. Uh, it's a more entertaining game. And there's a different mindset and attitude that's being developed by professional athletes, mm -hmm. football and basketball, as you can see. So uh, we are being a lot more uh, careful. No, citizens. Oh, because we understand. This ain't barbaric, no more. I think we understand that we set an example uh, mm -hmm. outside the game. Yeah, yeah. So you see me being barbaric. The youngsters want to be barbaric. barbaric. Yeah, yeah. They want to. They want to flow it on over. Yeah. And next thing you know, you never weed out the crap in the game. Right. So let me ask you this real quick. Having said that, with today's technology, what we know about CTE the brain injuries that's going on, that we're discovering, we're knowing about. Compared to back 30 years ago where it was probably going on, but we didn't have the technology to know that was going on. Well, what we know now, do you think that will affect the young man for even wanting to play football in the future? Knowing that the NFL is king, we all love the sport, but now we're educated on CTE. I understand this. I was born and raised in Texas. Uh-huh. Texas 
I've been playing the game ever since I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're having fun doing anything, mm -hmm. right. it's tough to walk away based right. on something you don't know about. Right. Because now that we know that it exists, right. it's still tough, tough to walk away from. So now that you're becoming millionaires mm -hmm. in the game, when you walk away from Now, I understand you have people just taking steroids knowing that down the line it's, it's going to affect, affect their health. Exactly. But they're still doing it. But when you talk about five, right, four, six, eight, twelve million, million a year, yeah, 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 I'll That's take that here. It's a mindset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I'm a little more conscious of who is what I take in. But, well, it's, it's a thought to be considered. That's for sure. Because it's, right. a, because it's a dollar amount that's put on a table that almost takes away that thought pattern. Shoot, if I've been poor all my life, living in the ghetto all my life, hello. Next thing you know, they finna offer me twelve million a year. I think I'm going that route, and I'll I'll deal with that the consequences later because because while you have while you have examples of CTE, you have so many other examples of non CTE. Oh, here's the I think all of us have CTE, and, and, and I'm not being. I knew. Years ago, and any of my comrades would tell me that I knew when we walked away from the game that there was something different. different. Yeah. No, no, I didn't know what it was, mm -hmm. but I knew we was all different mm -hmm. until they come up with CT and a light bulb went on for me. Like, oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's what it was. Well, yeah. what they tell you, that's a car wreck every yeah. time you, it's, it's a car accident every time you hit the field. Because well, y'all go on, at what, at what degree? It, it, yeah. They have a degree of it, mm -hmm. and that's certainly is part of it. But now, Seeing that the helmets, yeah, they changed the helmets. Mm -hmm. uh, so, to, to what degree? At one time, if I had the, my son to play during my era, I wouldn't let him play. Okay, out. It would be consideration now. Right, right, right. But my son ended up being six nine, and he ended up being a basketball player. No, okay. So, okay. okay. Was, I was so happy that he <laughs> he ain't got to play in this right here. <laughs> right. So, all right. Well, um, we definitely want to have you on the show again, one-on-one. -on -one, we're going to talk to you. What you're doing, we, I want to talk about, you know, some things that's going on in the NFL Players Association, some of the new things that's happening. Up, and so we got to keep in touch with you. Hey, before I leave, I'll make sure you know how to get in touch with you. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And we just yeah. go back to the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. Well, it was good talking to you. Uh -oh. And we will, we will uh, let's make sure we try to contact next week. And then let's, let's just keep it going. All right. All right. All right. Let's put that up. Nice to meet you. All right.